All right, guys, yo, what's going on? All right, so check it out. It looks like scientists have made an advance in teleportation technology. Yeah! Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on? My name is Dave Wubble. This is IO. So before I get in this video, I want to know what are your thoughts? Do you think that teleportation is possible? And if it was, where would you teleport to? You know where to write it? Down there? Now let's get on to the video. So we're going to be talking about a quantum quirk. I know it sounds more like a fart that atoms would make, but it's actually what scientists use to make clouds of atoms which were found to exist in two different locations. Now I know all you guys are probably saying, whoa, this is a bunch of gobbledygoo. But these scientists have broken the record for creating quantum superpositions in atoms. As a matter of fact, they got the same atom to multiply but 21 inches apart. Now the scientists who are doing this are thinking well maybe this won't just work for information but it will also work for real physical objects. Guys don't get too excited because we're talking about microscopic things it's gonna take a long time before you know you can move your body from one side of the room to the other. But this experiment was done by Dr. Mark Kasovic and his team of physicists at the Stanford University. Always wanted to go there not smart enough. Now the researchers created a cloud of 10,000 rubidium atoms which measured about a couple of millimeters across. And then they took those atoms and shot them 30 feet high up into the sky. Well, actually not into the sky, but in a controlled container. And they did this all with the use of lasers. Now when the cloud, which is also known as a Bose-Einstein condensate, got to the top of the chamber, they found out that it was in two different states. And this was all before it came crashing back down. Now they say it stayed in two different states for about a second before the lasers brought it all the way back down. Either way, it is quite confusing, but I do like this sort of stuff. Personally me, I always wonder if teleportation is possible, whether or not it's actually our bodies going from one place to another, or it's a perfect clone of us. Hmm, that would be kind of interesting. So what are your thoughts on all this? Would you guys like teleportation to exist right now? Would you use it if it existed right now, or do you think it'd be way too dangerous? So thanks for watching guys, my name is Dave Wobble, and this has been IO. If it's your first time hanging out with us, hit the subscribe button. Also, boom, we got a lot more videos for you guys to watch. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.